Good morning, folks. It's a day of geophysics. Lightning, earthquakes, volcanoes, cold, Earth's internal skeleton, and magnetic excursion. Our only departure from Earth is starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last day on the sun was calm as can be given the active regions and plasma filaments surrounding the coronal holes. The sunspots are starting to give morphing a go here, mostly are looking like rookies in the sunspot cycle, but they do keep growing, and soon these active regions will begin to deliver the solar flares of cycle 25. A quick look at the solar wind shows plasma speed is crested and is on the descent this morning. After having plateaued nicely, the geomagnetic field has had the chance to rebalance and is calming today. The top quake of the last day really wasn't the biggest one. Folks, there's a reason I didn't freak out two weeks ago when the Iceland earthquake swarm began, but a continued rolling this much later at magnitude 5 does indeed raise the concern for the volcanic aspect at the island. You may recall, two days ago we said that while those other hot spots on Earth were worthy of discussion, nobody was discussing Central America. We showed the blot echo signature, which hasn't gone away, as we've had two more blot echoes strike this area in the last day. Geomagnetic energy from that storm two days ago is preparing for discharge mode. Speaking of which, clouds continued their wintry delivery and are crushing records. From amazing totals to surprise snow in places that it shouldn't happen in the middle of March, the system was gorgeous from goes with the geocolor overlay, even some thunder snow reported in Colorado. One more kind of discharge here, many of you heard about the Honolulu lightning strike plunging them into darkness. We are entering that season again, and for those of you who were here last year, you know we've got major eyes on the lightning to see if it continues to shatter its own records and indicate the magnetic field of Earth is in worse trouble, or whether it backs off and indicates that last year's geomagnetic jerk was to blame for the record lightning. We are off to some articles as we get confirmation that volcanic activity in the tropics forces monsoon changes off the Indian Ocean, creating major droughts. Not only are we overdue for these eruptions, as we have been under average for a couple decades, but these are also known to become more frequent events as the sun exits grand maximum, which it's doing now. India always seems to get hit hard in the 200 and 400 year cycle. Of course, we're in the middle of another cycle as well right now, aren't we? Earth's magnetic poles are shifting, the strength is weakening, as we are in the 12,000 year excursion cycle reset right now. Not surprising to see the increase in journal coverage or the conclusions of enhanced space weather risk and more chaotic Earth electrodynamics. Basically, a stronger auroral signal, induction potential, and less predictability. Now folks, one of the checks we only do three or four times a year is on mantle conductivity. Usually not robust enough a field to check daily or even weekly, but I'm seeing a lot on the conductivity from the lithosphere all the way down to the deep mantle and it's often being associated with the large low shear velocity provinces, the real internal structure of the planet, the denser conductive skeleton. But I have sort of figured you might be tired of seeing these same versions of the visualization, so I went hunting around for the other best ones online to help you visualize what's really going on deep below. These structures come up from the core on opposite sides of Earth, like a pair of rotund handlebars spinning around the equator. Their conductivity is of critical importance to Earth's catastrophe cycle. The changes in Earth's rotation speed, which are only known to be anomalously modulated by solar storms and geomagnetic jerks, and also for the displacement of the crust, the turning over of the world. If you go to suspiciousobservers.org, right below the daily news show is our latest playlist on this topic, the disaster and why there are many ways to bring about the great invasion of the sea. Lastly here, folks, in terms of how much energy from space is getting into the Earth system, it turns out CMIPs underestimate that penetration and the duration of enhancement events. Not only is that the case overall, but lately, it's likely become much more obvious as Earth's weakening magnetic field allows more of that penetration by the day. We greatly appreciate your support. Find that playlist and much, much more at suspiciousobservers.org. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.